pay rent. Many of you don't want to pay rent to God. The rent of bearing fruit. But the Bible is very clear. You are morally obligated to God. And you know what they did with the messengers that were sent to inform the keepers of the vineyard that they needed to pay rent? The Bible says they beat them up. They harassed them. They didn't want to hear that message. You don't want to hear that message tonight that you're morally obligated to God. And this is the very reason why you're going to stand before God one day. Either condemned or acquitted. But either way, you're going to have to give an account. I'm going to have to give an account to God, although I'm, I'm not condemned. I'm still going to have to give an account to God for the grace that I have received. No, no, not today. Not but today. others of you no, are, going to, are going to be condemned. You rejected the grace of God. But you're still going to have to give an account. Now, you can understand that, can't you? You can't make a dollar in this city unless you're accountable to somebody. You can't be married unless you're accountable to somebody. You can't get a degree at a university unless you're accountable to somebody. And you are morally accountable to God. This nation is lost at understanding. We have become so arrogant in our prosperity. That's what prosperity does, by the way. That is the reason why we're seeing spiritual revivals all around the world where the nations are not prosperous, where they don't have the two and three car garage and the ability to go on the cruise or the vacation whenever they want and the job that pays 70 and 80 and 90 K. They don't have that. So therefore they are valuing what is truly valuable. Their eternal soul. But many of you in your prosperity are far removed from the understanding that you are morally obligated to God. You are. But God's priority for you tonight, sinner friend, and the only priority that God has tonight for the sinner is that you get right with God. Not only because you're a single heartbeat away from death, and standing before God, but because God is holy. You know God didn't give you that body to get drunk, you know that. That's why I get a hangover, right? That's why you have that conversation with the toilet bowl. But you continue. The Bible says, you know, if you were going down the wrong road, wouldn't you turn around? Of course. The Bible says, you know, if you fell down, wouldn't you get up? Of course you would. The Bible says if you are aware that that lifestyle that you are living is self-destructive, why don't you turn from it? Why don't you turn to the grace of God? But God has made you to produce fruit. What? What makes me a dick? I'm not saying you're a dick. Yes, like any farmer that goes out there and plants crop, he's looking for a yield.